this will work. This is my old phone. My old V20 that I paid like fucking $800 for. Thanks, Sprint. Fuckers. Costs like $5 to make. Uh, so the robotunderground.org is still up and running. So that's not great news. But uh, the Twitter page is updated. So it says, I dearest friends and supporters. First of all, blah, blah, blah. Huge thanks, blah, 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 blah. Long story short, there's a problematic out-of-state individual. Moi. Has developed a personal vendetta. Hmm, I wonder why. Against the two of us and our work. Uh, sure, if that's what you want to call it. Uh, we have attorneys. See, right? They're so tough. And the law. And law enforcement on our side. But this individual, moi has demonstrated an unsettling tendency towards violence. Exactly what sort of violence are we talking about? Me, personally, I think that when someone cards somebody, like for alcohol, I think that is violent. That's an act of violence. But, you know, which is a very low threshold. But please, by all means, give me an example of what violence I have done anything. So the other one is misogyny. I'm like, misogyny? Really? I hate women? No, it, you happen to be women. Uh, I had a I had a uh, a guy the other day. He was a piece of shit. I was calling him a piece of shit, and it wasn't until afterwards that I realized he was trying to race bait me. He was trying to get me to call him the N word, and this had nothing to do with color. It had to do with his uh, fucking attitude and uh, level of expectation, and just sort of you know being a dick. So, and this has nothing to do with women. I love women. I am the clit commander. I love vagina. Uh, I like actually big, beefy vaginas, uh, which a lot of women don't like, right? They're, they're also called Audis. If you guys listen to the Stern Show, they were talking about that on Friday. It was pretty hot. But uh, anyways, no, I love women. Uh, I think women should step up more in society without having to try to put somebody down. Now, that might be a hard time for Parker. Parker's new uh, into the world. And, uh, you know, what's funny is I, I used to do this bit about how, um, women act like a minority, right? Which is weird because physically, actually there are more women than men and, and women have had the vote since the twenties, right? What have they done with it? Right? Have they, have they made the law equal? No, there's not even the, the what is it? The E T is the EPA equal? No, ERA. The ERA has still not been passed. <laughs> black people, though, black people have had the right to vote for only what? Since the 60s? Look how much they've done. There's been a, a, a black president. Uh, so what does that tell you? That women are lazy and, uh, you know, don't want to stand up for themselves? I don't know. It just means that they've had the vote for longer and look what they've done. So, of course, that's a joke. And it's meant to poke, you know, at people's uh, sensitivities about that stuff. But what I want you to really do is look at a, a critical thought, a critical look at what that means and how they've organized or haven't organized. So, but anyways, misogyny. I also had to look up the opposite of misogyny. I didn't even know what that fuck was. Misandry, right? I could accuse you of the same thing that, you know, you hate men. I, I don't know if you hate men. I don't care if you hate men. It makes no difference about your uh, attitude that somehow I'm bullying you. That comes up later, that I'm bullying you. I asked you nicely. I tried to reason with you. I got no response. I sent perfectly, uh, I don't want to say professional, but definitely uh, calm and reasonable requests to what I thought was your parents. I don't, I don't even know. And then I get this letter back from a lawyer who, who, who is an absolute cunt uh, and, and, and is just trying to discredit me as if I am lying, like as if I, uh, this is the good one. So basically in that footnote, that's the real actually giveaway of, of the real attitude of not only, uh, Parker, uh, and company, but, uh, of the lawyer and everything like you get, who am I supposed to hold responsible for that? Those comments, right? Basically they said that I only started making videos since, they started using Robot Underground, right? Not not negative, just but just in videos in general that I wasn't active, okay? That is hilarious, but let's go with that theory, okay? And then you go back, uh, let's see. Here we go. I'm at the Who Is, which is I Can, which is, you know, whatever. This is for therobotunderground.org. 
Um, it doesn't give the uh, initial um, created date, but it just shows 2021 uh, and it expires it's through Bluehost, uh, which is Mormons. Those guys are dicks. And then uh, Parker Mayer. See, and I don't know who that's registered to, but I'm assuming it's Parker Mayer. Uh, that was created in 2019, 126. And then you got the, oh, I should look at the Nerdy Girls dot, uh, was it Nerdy Girls Project? Yeah. Robot Underground uh, dot party. That was created in 2020, January of 2020. I, I, my, my fucking YouTube page was like, it's from, from 06. Like, what the fuck? Uh, let me look that up real quick. What was that? Uh, nerdy girls. Nerdy girls. Project. Dot O-R-G. Which, by the way, I think is a really great empowering URL and idea. Like, I am not against women doing anything. Uh, I, I think that the the idea of trying to make toy robots is a little weird, but I understand the theory. The only problem I have with that is the treading on the intellectual property. You don't need to call it Robot Underground. You don't. Now, it's gratuitous is what you're doing. You, you don't have to, but you're doing it anyway. So that sort of says you're doing it against me, Patrick Chandler, creator of Robot Underground, co-founder since 1993 with his wife of fucking 26 years. Yeah, I hate women. You're a dick. You're such a fucking dick. Created 2015. There you go. So I guess I've been watching nerdygirlsproject.org since then. And then what did I do? I came out with, where's the about us? This one, this one's great. So that was published on August 18th. Yep, you're right. I waited for Nerdy Girls Project to show up. And then I was like, you know what? I need to do a defining video. Actually, this is when I met Mark Silverstein uh, through comedy. And he happened to be a videographer. And I was like, dude, you want some money when you get the other do a project? Mostly, I'll do a link to uh, shout out to Mark. He gave me a really good deal. And he ended up being late and he gave me a discount. So send him your money. Send him your support. I think he's too busy, though. He's doing a lot of weddings. So I don't know. But um, uh, I'll send you a link to him and his roommate uh, who I adore. I adore in a creepy kind of weird way. Um, Josh, uh, uh, he's visiting his family right now. I'll, I'll, I'll link to his uh, Instagram. Josh is, is, is mildly entertaining. So I will say that. I think, I think uh, Mark is a little funnier, but Mark is a little more introverted. So anyways, so it says the, it's an understatement to say that it's killing us to let a bully win. I, I'm not winning. I'm, I'm not winning. You didn't take it down. Uh, but again, to call me a bully, the guy that's been bullied most of his life, uh, I finally stand up to bullies, you two, uh, trying to tread on my IP and steal my life. Okay. I stand up for myself and somehow I'm a bully. Okay. Got it. It says, we're keeping our eyes on the bigger vision of changing the game for girls. Not a problem. I have no problem with that. I have no problem with you teaching girls and having your curriculum. Just don't call it Robot Underground. That's all. So we're going now, 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 now. Find our way back. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you again. Keep it nerdy, Parker and Greta. So that's that. That's on their Twitter page. The other thing I got, which was weird. So it says Nerdy Girls, Mamma Mia. So these are not hosted through uh, uh, YouTube, which is why their YouTube channel, they shut it down. So, but they're still here up on Twitter. So I'm like, fuck these two. Quit fucking advertising that you are co-founder of Robot Underground. Take that shit off your fucking resume. You're that you're a fucking poser, Parker. Parker Poser. Parker Posey? Parker Poser. Uh, this is the other thing. As a not-for-profit, why do you got the fucking money shit? What's this about? Right? Really, you were trying to cash in on the work that I've done, right? And so this is their Twitter handle right there. So, you know, I encourage you to uh, protest, to let them know that they are garbage and should not do what they're doing with this name brand. Call it fucking Robot Party. I don't care. Just don't put the words robot and underground together. You know what's funny is you can actually put underground and robot together. That's fine. I don't give a shit about that because that's something completely different. That's sewer robots. And if you want to go tread in the sewer, go fucking for it. So... 
Do I curse? Do I speak my mind? Yes. And I actually encourage women to do the same fucking thing. But what's really great, I actually had a couple of jokes that were uh, one of my favorite things that I adore is um, uh, people who are very um, outspoken, but wrong uh, or dumb. Oh, God, I love that. But um, uh, anyways, uh, it's not that it reminds me of Parker, but she, Parker, you are wrong. So but, you know. There you go with the brush. The Yeah, nothing on you. Yeah. Trying to dominate me. What are you trying to dominate me for? Why are you trying to take the brand? Fucking let it go. Go do something else. Jesus Christ. Uh, what else? Is that enough of that? Nerdy girls. Link tree. What, what the fuck is link tree? Look at this videos. Well, that's cute. You see? Unavailable. Misogyny. I, I only massage women when they want it, okay? That's the, that's the only misogyny that I do. See, that was the joke. See, where you're like really confident, but you're wrong. So anyways, I love you guys. Have a great Sunday. I am catching up on orders. I am feeling good, feeling empowered as a man. You know, I, I really want equal rights in this country. I want someone to pay for my dinner. Okay. I want somebody to open the door for me. I want someone to care if I've had an orgasm at the end of sex. Did you have an orgasm? Was it powerful? Like, you know, do you want me to put a finger in your butt? I'm like, oh, thank you. You know what? I'm okay with the butthole stuff, but you know, but thank you for caring. I would love to hear that. You know what? I've been in lots of relationships. I wouldn't call them relationships, but I've, I've been, have been many interactions and I've had zero girls be that uh, caring about my needs. So I don't know. Maybe it's the girls that I date or whatever, including my wife, my wife. I love her to death, but she, she's, she, nobody ever sat her down and talked to her about how to treat a man. So, and there is actually one religion that where they worship the penis, which I'm not a fan of that either, but, but there is some good to it, which is about, it's about being thankful and grateful and things like that. Uh, and, and, Dude, if it works, it works. Like, I'm not against Scientology. I'm not against Mormonism. I'm not against even, uh, uh, what is it called? Muslimy? Whatever it's, I forget the name of it anyways. Uh, as long as it comes to the same truths about respect and uh, caring of other people and, and sort of treating other people the way that you want to be treated. Um, and, and I, I can't stop looking at this buzz cut. Like, really? You want to take only half my haircut? I don't know. Anyways, I love you guys. Talk to you later. Uh, peace be upon you.